Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Amid recent aerial assaults by Russian forces involving ballistic and cruise missiles, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky urgently appealed on March 21, 2024, via its X account, for additional air defense systems and artillery ammunition. Ukrainian forces now face the grim prospect of depleting their ground-to-air munitions, compounding existing struggles to replenish 152 and 155 mm artillery shells. According to confidential sources cited by the Washington Post, Ukrainian forces successfully intercepted four out of five missiles targeted at a major city in recent operations. However, without immediate intervention, this interception rate is projected to plummet to just one out of five missiles by the end of March. The Washington Post reported, Ukrainian policymakers have informed European and American officials that the ammunition for some of their anti-missile defense systems might be nearly depleted by the end of March 2024, prompting President Zelensky's urgent plea to Western allies on March 2. We need more air defense from our partners. We must strengthen the Ukrainian air shield to better protect our people from Russian terrorism. More air defense systems and more missiles for these systems save lives, emphasized President Zelensky. Regrettably, the United States faces hurdles in supplying interceptor missiles for the air defense systems provided to Ukraine, owing to congressional deadlock over unlocking $60 billion in military aid for Kiev. Europe confronts similar challenges, primarily due to limitations in industrial production capacities. A presidential advisor, as quoted by the Washington Post, expressed grave concern over the potential for Russia to secure significant territorial gains if Ukrainian forces do not receive essential support. He underscored the dire conditions on the front lines, citing low morale, waning momentum, and apprehension among young conscripts facing shortages of weaponry. CIA Director William J. Burns echoed these concerns during a recent congressional hearing, cautioning that without American aid, Ukraine could suffer substantial territorial losses, underscoring the urgency of timely assistance. In a candid revelation to the German weekly Der Spiegel, Ukrainian commanders disclosed the dire situation faced by units on the front lines, grappling with acute shortages of ammunition and equipment. Some units possess only enough resources to sustain their current defensive positions, raising the specter of compromised defenses and potential advantages for Russian forces in certain sectors. A situation report issued on March 13 by the Institute for the Study of War, ISW, warned that Russian forces currently hold the initiative across the entire theater, granting them leverage to dictate the timing, location, and scale of their offensive maneuvers. The ISW cautioned that intensified Russian offensives, especially in areas lacking prioritized ammunition resupply for Ukrainian forces, could pave the way for significant breakthroughs by Russian troops. With hopes pinned on prompt Western military assistance, particularly from the United States, the urgency of the situation cannot be overstated as Ukrainian forces brace for a critical juncture in the ongoing conflict. That's all for now. See you later.